Watch when I drive this tank, no bait. Couldn't everybody pay me more. And I got a couple bands on me right now. I ain't gonna say no more. She fucked me in the studio, cause I could make a course. See niggas in they feelings, though. What the fuck you hate for? Liddy Ma! Alright, gang. Hey, excuse me if my energy is not where it normally is. I just did this whole video, and my fan from my, uh, I had this fan on, bro, and it was so loud, bro. I couldn't even drop that. I was like, that's disrespectful. So today, I'm here to talk to y'all because the Detroit Lions is fucking finally linked to an offensive coordinator. Now, Wednesday, while I was working, you know, busy getting this chicken chicken, the Lions was busy held, holding an interview with quarterback coach of the Baltimore Ravens, James Urban. Now, I know James Urban is with somebody that a lot of people have never heard of before, but I'm here to give y'all a quick little breakdown in this little quick hitter. Pop, pop. That's what I'm going to start calling these little quick, Mobby's quick hits. Pop, pop. You know what I'm saying? Jab, jab. Anyway, um, James Urban, meeting with Detroit. A uh, little about James. James is 47 years old. Like I said before, he's the quarterback coach over in Baltimore, working with Lamar Jackson. He got to Baltimore in 2018. Before that, he was with the Cincinnati Bengals, working as a wide receiver coach. And before that, he was the quarterback's coach, slash offensive assistant, slash uh, director of football operations for Andy Reid over in Philly. So I'm not going to lie. Um, I like this. I like the thought of this. Now, I will say. It's only an interview. Doesn't mean he's going to get hired. You know, the Lions interviewed a ton of people uh, early. None of them end up getting any jobs with us. So the Lions are probably going to interview a lot or a couple more offensive coordinators. But this is the first one that I'm hearing about, and it's the one that got me pretty excited. Now, uh, as a play caller, I don't know who James Urban is. I'll be honest with you. So it is more, more or less the same as what we've seen this offseason. Another first-time guy who's never had this job before, and you just got to see how it goes. Same with our defensive coordinator, Aaron Glenn, if he ever signs a contract. And same with Dan Campbell. Same with our GM. The cycle continues. Positives about James Urban, though. Uh, as the quarterback's coach, in Baltimore, had a lot of success, uh, helped Lamar Jackson reach that MVP level, uh, got that throwing motion together, so he was really throwing that thing that year. Um, not so much this year, but that year he was really throwing that thing uh, and really worked hard with him, worked closely with him as the QB coach. Got, I'm not saying he's responsible for Lamar Jackson's success, but it is absolutely phenomenal to have that on your uh, resume. You were the QB coach of the uh, Rookie of the Year slash uh, MVP, whatever Lamar Jackson was that year. He went crazy. Uh, so, coached him uh, to a Pro Bowl, basically. And um, that's where he made his name over in Baltimore. Now, if you know me, you know I want to go mobile quarterback, dual threat quarterback, and that's what James Urban has to offer. Uh, this man has worked with a ton of dual threat quarterbacks in his career. Now, before he was working with Lamar Jackson, um, he was working in uh, Cincinnati, which is another positive way. He's already worked with Marvin Jones, one of the leaders on his team, so maybe you do bring Marvin back, let Kenny go, do what you got to do. Who knows, but just throwing out some stuff. Uh, he's worked with Marvin Jones before. He's worked with Muhammad Sanu before as a wide receivers coach, so not only is he a QB coach that's worked directly with quarterbacks, he's a wide receiver coach that's worked directly with wide receivers. Got to be positive, right? Um, and then before that, of course, he was working with Andy Reid over in Philadelphia, and he worked um, as a quarterbacks coach, uh, his first year is with Donovan McNabb, and in the second year, which was the last two years he was in Philly. This is before he went to Cincinnati. So his last two years in Philly, he was a QB coach. Um, first, as a quarterback's coach, Donovan McNabb, pro bowler. And then as a QB coach, uh, working with Michael Vick as he came home from prison and got that starting job in Philly, he coached Michael Vick to the best year of Michael Vick's uh, career. Uh, under him, he, Michael Vick had, then had his career high in passing yards, he had over 3,000 passing yards. He had his career high in passing touchdowns at 21, and he only had six interceptions on the entire year. Michael Vick went to the Pro Bowl. So, as a quarterback's coach, three Pro Bowlers, all dual-threat quarterbacks, McNabb, Vick, Lamar Jackson. Why not draft Justin Fields if you get this dude? Why not draft Trey Lance if you get this dude? Why not draft Zach Wilson if you get this dude? He know what he's doing. Uh, but like I said... Just because he got an interview doesn't mean he's going to get hired. Um, and it's kind of interesting with this dude, too, because he has no ties to Dan Campbell. None. None that I know of, at least. None that anybody that's written about this knows of. We can find no uh, direct links to Dan Campbell. So I don't know if this is a, a Lions hire or the Lions choosing their own office of coordinator for this or um, what. But personally, what I do think, um, with all of the interest that Marvin Lewis uh, was supposedly getting from Detroit, what I think happened is 
uh, since Marvin Lewis did work with him so closely in Cincinnati. I believe that Marvin Lewis was considering hiring uh, James Urban as his offensive coordinator. And if maybe if John, uh, Marvin Lewis would have got the job, then boom, it would have went to Urban. And now the Lions, uh, I honestly just think the Lions are doing their due diligence. They must have heard a ton of great stuff from Marvin Lewis. And they're like, okay, let's bring this guy in for an interview. And let's see if uh, we like him better than Daryl Bevel. It's not looking like Bevel's going to get the job now that we're starting this interview process. And he's been on ice for so long. Uh, you would have think he would be a shoe-in. Thank God he's not. Um, but... Again, even with Urban, it could be a toss-up. You know, uh, he doesn't have any play-calling experience. Uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to act like uh, it's uh, um, just not going to act like there's no risk to this, and I'm not going to act like there's a um, like a a big you know chance of him getting the job just because he got the interview first or just because he's the first interview to happen. Um, where the lines are going, it seems like the guys that get the interview first ain't the guys that get the job anyway. Weirdos. But uh, yeah, James Urban, he was a uh, he played some college football, didn't have no NFL uh, career. He was a returner and a wide receiver. Mm -hmm. And like I said, he has tremendous success working with dual-threat quarterbacks. So if that is the direction that the Lions are trying to go in, uh, why not? Uh, we'll see, though. We'll, we'll see. Like I said, no connections to Dan Campbell, which is weird. You would think, you know, Dan Campbell will hire somebody he knew. Who knows what Detroit's doing? But at least now it seems like... Uh, it seems more realistically like for the, we're getting our first signs of seeing that the Lions are interested in drafting one of these top quarterbacks. Or else why would you go out and get the dude who worked with Lamar Jackson, Michael Vick, McNabb, who's a dual-threat quarterbacks QB coach? Why else would you go out and get him? Um, or be looking at him, unless Marvin Lewis just put in a hell, of a, a hell of a recommendation for him, which could have been the case. Either way, I like the, um, I like the direction at least they're looking to go in. Uh, Daryl Bevel, too, has had success working with dual-threat quarterbacks like Russell Wilson, uh, he was a Russell Wilson, uh, you know, guy. But what does this mean for Matthew Stafford? Uh, uh, offensive coordinator that, you know, has had all his success at working with quarterbacks, being dual threat quarterbacks. We know that's not what Stafford does, especially at this point in his career and how much he's been injured lately. Um, trade scenarios, anybody? So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. What do y'all think is the probability that he gets hired? He was actually getting looks last year, um, there was talks of him going back to Philly last year as the OC. There was some uh, he did some he took some interviews last year and ended up declining the position and coming back to uh, Baltimore. And then this year, here he is taking interviews again. So it gotta mean that he's been generating some interest. I like the fact that he's worked with Andy Reid for a long time in his career. He's coming from an Andy Reid tree. People seem to think highly of Andy uh, Reid products and say what you want about Urban. He's an Andy Reid product. Uh, does that mean he'll be able to call an Andy Reid offense? No. Does that mean he'll be a great offensive coordinator? No. That is all yet to be seen. Can he call plays? But he does believe in running the ball. He likes dual threat quarterbacks. And um, you know it got me excited. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all like the idea of bringing this dude in. Y'all think it's going to happen. Y'all think it's not going to happen. And which quarterback would you like to see him work most with if you did get him with a quarterback? I, I would like to see him with Justin Fields just because I think he's got the most potential as far as a dual threat. With that 4-3 speed and that rocket arm, he just needs to work on his consistency and accuracy a little bit. But then again, seeing what he did with Lamar Jackson just got me thinking, damn, Trey Lance could go stupid. Trey Lance's arm way better than Lamar Jackson's, bro. <laughs> like, he could go stupid, yeah. So y'all hop in the comment section, man. Let me know what y'all think. And again, it's your boy, there goes Mobby with Mobby's quick hits. Pop, 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 pop. And I'm out.